Hi everybody, it's Sam Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. So I've got a couple of bits to show you. First of all, I've got these here that I got from Craft Stash. This one here is a media mat, so it's kind of like a jelly plate. I saw this one, and this is a, what size is this one? I'm not sure the size, I'll pop it in the links below. But it's just basically, if you imagine, a large stamp, but with nothing on it. So it's a large clear stamp. But the great thing is, is the effects that you can do with this. So you can, you take your backing off. Oh, just pull that one off there, there we go. So you've just got this. Like I said, it's, you can use it like a jelly plate. Um, but I want to do some really fun effects with my stencils and my inks and things like that. So I had all those lovely luster polishes and the oh, the Cosmic Kiss, the you know, the... Oh gosh, my mind's gone. Anyway, all the stuff from Cosmic Shimmer. I had that and I want to use that and I thought I'm going to get this because yeah I want to have a good old play with it and create some nice background so I'm just going to pop that back on there so I picked up that and then I picked up some of these wobblers because I want to do some little action cards so I got these are the Hampton Art ones you get 12 and they're um, peel and stick and then wobble so you'll see those feature so I'll just pop all that to one side because I can put all that away now then I popped to the charity shop and I saw they had all these for a pound. Now, I did share a large amount of the jars that I got these ones here. I have them all in front of me on my pegboard with all my sequins in. I've got beads in them, all sorts. I love being able to see everything. And they're glass, they're gonna last forever. They're just lovely. So these are slightly taller, but then I've also got these ones which are from Ikea. So I got a set of six of those. You can see they're slightly shorter. And then I've got these ones, which are just that little bit smaller again. These are more like preserve kind of ones, so they probably had some jams or something in them. But I've already started filling them, so I've just down to the last few of my little um, like snowballs there. And then I've put some of these little wooden elements in there, some little Christmassy bits. And again, I've got all little shelves on my pegboards, and then everything's kind of sat on the shelves. But I got 10 there for a pound. 10p each, it was an absolute bargain. And I got a Christmas tin to go with it, so I'll be using that to put all my Christmas stuff away. But yeah, I like to, yeah, I like to see everything. And then my mum picked up this amazing find. This was a pound from the charity shop, and it is vintage paper. Now looking at the images, we think it's probably 60s coming into 70s. And it's beautiful. I absolutely adore these images. So let me just show you. I mean, I love sheets of paper anyway. Um, you know, I remember when we were younger, we'd go and just get sheet upon sheet when it was Christmas time to wrap everything up. But I can smell the, the it's got that, you know, just that old smell, I love it. So I've got that one. <laughs> Oh, the excitement over paper but it's just the scenes and stuff just take me back and they're just lovely so you've got that christmas scene there then you've got this one here where have we got which is your three yes yeah, your three kings you've got your angels then you've got your nativity or your manger scene there yeah and then there's more angels you've got your shepherds yeah just really really lovely and then look at these some of the colors just so fun. It gives me inspiration of different colours to work together as well. So you've got your red robins with the balloons, you've got your skating penguins, these two lovely um, peacocks, some owls there with their little stockings, penguin and the sleigh, but a big peacock in the middle there. And everyone is different, They're, they don't repeat, you know, they're all individual. Look, they're penguins with a little baby, then they're eating their Christmas pudding. The owl's having a toast with some red wine. You've got the one in the little tree. They're just so lovely. Look at these ones. These ones, really, I've got birthday cards with these images on them. But look at them. Look at that, aren't they lovely? So cute. So that, I've got loads, absolutely tons here. This is one of my favorites. Look at that, how cute is that Robin? Happy Christmas. So, so lovely, beautiful. And this one is another favorite. I've got them all upside down, should turn them around, there we go. Look at that one, look at these. <laughs> They're so cute, oh my god, I love them. You've got the little mouse there with a the Christmas hat, I just love it, good cheer, joy, peace, love. Just, again, just so different. And then this one here, let's turn these around this way. So you've got Father Christmas and the reindeer going over the rooftops, you've got a large one in the centre there. 
so there's that nice big one there. And then that one I've already shown you. There's a few repeats, but not many. There are quite a lot of, yeah, this one's another fun one. That one, yeah, we've seen that one. This one here. Now they're all up that way again. Oh, gosh, here we go. Look, so he's on his plane. <laughs> Christmas greetings, and then he kind of shoots up. You've got reindeer there. That's, it's not Rudolph, there's no red nose, but, but he's carrying a, a cart. You know, it's like an old, like, uh, wagon. Then he's got his umbrella, so different, it's on the TV. And then there he's on his rocking chair with the cat, flying again. It's just so different in his hammock. And then he's playing chess. And he's trying to wake up, it's just before midnight, he's trying to wake up the reindeer. Really good. This one, this is what makes me then think of more like coming into like the 70s, because they used to use a lot of photographs, real life images on cards. You just have a big picture of a candle on the front of a Christmas card or a real Ponsettia flower. Really, really, really kind of, some of them were really tacky. And um, yeah, just as soon as I saw this, I thought, see, this is very 70s. So I think it's kind of, yeah, I don't know. That one, I think I showed you that. Oh no, that was different. That's a slightly different one. I've done that one. I think that is now it. Oh no, there's one more here. So we've got that one. So loads of sheets, absolutely tons and tons. This one here, yeah, this is a new one. There's a couple of different ones here. So we've got, that's another cute one. Got Mary and Joseph, baby Jesus. We've got the angels there, but they've got such cute faces. I mean, look at those. Aren't they adorable? So cute. So that's that one. So that's the same. That's the same. Yeah, I think that was it actually. It was just that other one. And then, did I do that one? The cat? No, that one might be different. Hold on, I'm checking again now because I don't think I looked through that properly. I think that one might be the same as the other one. I think the images are Home Sweet Home. Again, just really cute. So what I find, all that lovely vintage wrapping paper. Plus I've already got my 1950s great big roll. I promise I'll take a picture. I forgot last year um, and someone did ask, but I, it's a, it was an ex department store and it had never been used. And it's one that was on the roll. So when you'd buy your stuff in the department store, you could go and get the department to wrap it for you. And it's from the 1950s. And um, it's absolutely beautiful. I love that stuff, but it's such a big roll. It's probably about that big now. Um, and it's orange with these really lovely images all over them. So I will try and remember because I'll be getting that out again. So that was the wrapping paper. Then I received a couple of magazines which I featured in. So I got the latest making cards and paper craft and then the latest Papercraft Essentials. So we'll talk about Papercraft Essentials first. You get two really nice free gifts with this one. This is a 3D embossing folder, which is your hexagonal, which is your honeycomb kind of style, but it is slightly different, but you could, yeah, it could be that honeycomb as well, because they're hexagons, so. But um, I haven't used it yet, but it's, it's lovely, it really is nice. It's a th very, very thick embossing folder. And then you get this stamp set. So this is your geometric stamps. So you've got the reindeer, you've got the fox, the rabbit, you've got that lovely star, and it says Foxy Lady, you're a gem, congratulations, with love and happy birthday. So they're really nice, but the embossing folder, and really, and it's heavy, you know, it's a, a nice, nice free gift, that one. And then this is the magazine, so this is issue 181. Always, I do, you know, love this one. I brought this one even before I was, you know, started to do the shape up features, but I'll just show you my one there's lots of inspiration using the free gifts as well which is always good here it is <laughs> and it's the quadruple slider i love how this turned out in the photos i really enjoyed this one it's so pretty and um just lots and lots of fun to make so i've done a simplified you always get a simplified version and then the more advanced version you get all the step by step to go with it so that was the the simplify which is just your double and then i've done the quadruple there loved it really really like that one it's always nice i always get a little you know, a little smile when you see your um, projects in print. So yeah, that's that one. And then I haven't even opened this one yet because this one's only just come through the door and this is the December 2019. And I was so excited that I got to use, you know, feature the December papers. So this one, you've got an adorable stamp set. Last month's was a really nice stamp set. And then this one here, this is Pablo the Penguin. Oh, you're gonna see a couple of cards because I have to use him. He's so, so cute. Let me just take this off here. 
and I'll just bring it up there. Look, isn't he cute? So it says, a very Merry Christmas to you, warm wishes, magic time. We wish you a Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, and let it snow. But he's adorable. He is absolutely adorable. I mean, look, oh, love it. So the papers in this one are lovely. I already use them. I used these papers, oh gosh, a couple of months ago now to make the, the cards. So they're lovely. Again, I'm not gonna show too much because I like to, you know, keep it a surprise, but the ones that I done, always like to show them a nice big double page and this was the Santa and he's on his motorbike um, he's sunbathing on the beach there he's got his clothes hanging up on the beach with his coconut but there were just some really nice scenes you've got you know the two Santas there enjoying their um, yeah toasting in the Christmas just really really fun they were yeah really I enjoyed making those ones a lot love that one there with the little red car and the Christmas tree and the presents on top so yeah that was that one but the stamp set really really good let me just grab that was last month's and that is the christmas cap and you can get back coffee copies as well online so i'll share their links below but if you're a cat lover you got xmas mood happy new year magical christmas merry christmas and with love so you get those two nice stamp sets within the two magazines i think that's great and their inspiration is always really nice and then lastly i got some wonderful friend mail from my friend tatty and she sent me some lovely bits actually it was really I was really surprised it was a complete surprise actually because I'd missed the message that she'd sent me and then this came through the door I was like oh my god it's lovely so she sent me this this is my first Christmas card it's gorgeous look at all that foiling love that this is beautiful and all these lovely they look like they've been cut from like a pink vellum and then she's put glitter on the ends really really nice so thank you Tassie that was gorgeous and then she's also just sent me this one here you are so special to me and it's a really nice one she's wrote some lovely words in there she's got beautiful handwriting when the parcel come I knew it was from her straight away so they're the envelopes that she sent me so I'll pop those to one side and then she's just sent me a few bits and pieces so this is it looks like because it's got string in it that it would have been a tree decoration but I guess you can use that on a card yeah, I would have thought so. It's a lovely shape. You could probably stencil that as well. So I have to play around with that. But it's got a very thin, um, you know, uh, like jewellery thread through that. So I'll have to have a look. And then this here, Simon Says Stamp. I was like, ooh. And it's a beautiful stencil. It's really nice. This one's called The Leaves. And she said in her letter, she said, I know you like leaves and, you know, all like the, the sprigs and the twigs, which I do. And so it was really nice to have this one here. And the thing I love about it is that you you get both pieces so you can create some really lovely effects with this because usually a lot of scent stencils that companies sell are just that but you get this piece so you can lay that down onto you know your whatever it is that you're using and then stencil and then peel it away and you'll have that effect so I love that so thank you again so much that was really really kind of you I haven't got one like that so I'm looking forward to yeah so I'm making some nice things with that one and then I've got these here, which are really pretty. They're these tiny little flowers um, on paper clips. It's funny actually, because I'm starting to put together my journal and everything for next year, because already I've got commissions that have got deadlines in January and I've got one that's February. So I'm already into my next year. So things like this are gonna be really nice to start using because they're not Christmassy. And um, yeah, it's just nice to start making things yeah, that aren't Christmassy anymore. And then I've got these here, which are just little stamps and they're so cute. A little look little photographs I love that one the little girl with the penguin they're just really cute they're nice to put on cards you know when I send them out I think they're quite sweet and if you're doing like a little mini album as well though things like that are really really pretty so that's those bits and then she sent me this lovely card stock with that she'd ordered some for herself so here I have got so this is a fog and this is Simon Says Stamp lovely color so it's just it's almost in between white and gray fog funny that but um <laughs> Yeah. Again, I've never used Simon Says Stamp cardstock. Let me just have a little look here. Yeah, it's nice. It's a nice weight. Probably about a 250, 260 maybe. Need to have a little look online. Yeah, so that's the fog colour. And then I've got this here is Gina K. So this is, again, I've never had Gina K. And again, the thing that I thought was so nice is that Tatty said she remembered saying that one of my favourite colours was teal and she sent me teal cardstock. Again, I just thought that was so thoughtful. Again, similar weight to the Simon Says Stamp. It's lovely. Those colours, all three, work so nice together. On the colour wheel, these will all complement each other. So that's good. So thank you very much. And then this one here is the Hero Arts 
and this is and the thing that's going to be different for me is that this is eight and a half by eleven. All of my cardstock is A4, all of it. But I try to cut it down so that it's eight and a quarter by eleven, so that everybody, no matter where you are in the world, can then make my projects. So it's yeah, it's going to be strange to have already cut. Eight, it's the eight and a half, the width. We don't have that width. Ours is always eight and a quarter. So yeah, that's really again, it's really nice. Thank you so much. And this is doesn't tell you the weight though on the front of them, does it? Just having a little look there. No. I like that. It says a uh, Hero Arts is a family run, green certified, solar powered American small business. Isn't that nice. Oh, this is a heavy. This is nice. That's like a 300 GSM. That is a real thick. This is like the thickness of the little cardstock. I mean, you can even hear. That is really. That's going to be for special things. Because <laughs> I don't have uh, many heavy weights in colours. It's usually the craft card, the white, black and then the little, but I don't have any like A4 that heavy. So I'm gonna keep these in the packaging just so I know where they are. Cause a lot of the time I break down my colored papers and just mix them all in. But these ones I wanna make sure because of the sizing that um, yeah, I don't get those ones mixed up. That's everything for this week. So you will see some fun cards coming along with the Pablo the Penguin and the cat. So um, I've got a few more cards that I wanna do with things like that. And then I'm gonna, yeah, that's a nice one because that's not just Christmasy. That can be used all through. That's gonna be nice for spring with your bees and things like that. Great card stock, cannot wait to use that. And then I've got some fun projects using my media plate. I'm gonna put my Christmas card up and just enjoy all the other lovely things. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Tati. It's so kind of you, it really was very thoughtful. And thank you for watching everybody. I will link as much as I can below as always and I'll be back again tomorrow with a normal tutorial. Thanks for watching, bye.